<laughs> so so annoying though. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I see you way over there. Hi. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> here we are on the stream. Uh, welcome everybody, whoever's watching. Uh, which one is it? this one? So welcome everybody. Oh, we're just annoyed at the dogs because they're barking at stuff that's like literally a hundred yards away. It's far. And they're barking like it's a threat to the house. Like we're like, what's going on? We're looking around the house and yeah. Anyway, here we have the Jimmy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish them up today. We're going to add some colors. And yeah, we're going to do the whole shebang. We're going to start with some yellow. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch it off. And we're going to start off with some yellow. <laughs> what is it? It says I'm a little scared because Trump said people are dying that never died before. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, I don't even believe it sometimes. It's still crazy. Everything that's happening so far. Cleaning out the white. Let's see if we switch over to some yellow. Some yellow. And my my general thing here is to just add color. I think you can get a better view of it this way. Um just add color and I want it to like splash so I want like color splashes coming off of him right and then uh, I also want to drape some color on him mainly some yellow to mix in with the pink here that'll mix with some orange and then maybe maybe touch it up with some like uh, green or some blue but maybe we'll see how it turns out after the yellow and after we have the color splashes in the back but starting off with, I'm just going to go in with some yellow, yeah, just to go over kind of these areas here. And mixing it with the pink, it's going to give a nice orange. I just want to accent what's there, you know. And then once we're done with everything too, I'm going to come back in. And we're going to use uh, white to highlight everything and really kind of tie everything together at the very end. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's see. I'm gonna leave that pink and that pink just so we can maybe use a different color.
Yo, JR, saludos. Uh, David Dillard, what's up, what's up, how's it going? Neil Lynn, Nye. Leonel, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué onda, qué onda? Iron Wolf Art, how's it going, man? It's good enough so we can highlight with white. I like it. Okay, now I want to add some color splashes, right? So, like all coming off the back of them. So starting here. Yeah, I'll bring you guys in close to. Splash coming off his head over here. Bobby Lipford, how's it going? How's it going? Yo uso varios compresores. Si miras en los links abajo de este video hay un link para un compresor que es medio bueno. De Huitzel, Marcos, Marco, ¿qué onda? Saludos. Go ahead, go. Oh. <laughs> Splash is kind of going that way, but maybe we're going to put some coming this way right here. ¿Quieres una playera con la imagen de tus padres? Ok, ¿sabes?
And let's see, green is a nice color, so maybe we'll do some green over here as well. O sea, si ves en, con tus ojos, ahorita, en la mera imagen que estás viendo, aquí en la parte de abajo está mi sitio de internet. Ahí puedes encontrar toda mi información. What's up, Easy Airbrush? How's it going, going? How's it going, man? Finally getting around to finish this one up. <laughs> Are you sure? It's hard to get everything on this camera. Let me just move this away. Just go back. There you go. I already have blue loaded up over here. put some blue over here but uh, we gotta work it in behind the <laughs> behind the strands so that could wait a second for now let's maybe add some blue coming in with the green right here Yeah, what's up, Rob Martin? How's it going? Rob Martin is the my own personal critic, I guess. <laughs> I'm messing, man. How's it going? <laughs>
<laughs> John Payne, how's it going? Thank you, sir. It's getting there. We're getting it there. some purple yeah purple's fine so how's everybody holding up how's everybody enjoying their quarantine time <laughs> this is so horrible man I did manage to go to Walmart there was no canvases in stock I don't know if Hobby Lobby's like just closed or if they were just closed early that the day that I went or something, but when I went they were closed. So that's not an option right now, I might have to try again. You make it at a festival of colors. It sounds cool. Just sit around and throw color at each other. Sounds like a hell of a shower party. <laughs> All right, did I have to use purple in here?
The player in the purple behind the yellow there. That helps define the purple a little bit and also gives it a cool effect with the layered colors in there. Let's see, let's take you guys in. Take you guys in cl for a close look, yeah. Which famous painting? <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Dro C? Fishing the Backwoods? <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? So, yeah, adding those colors is really making it look good. See, it looks way different when you see it with the colors on there. And once we add the white in, it's really going to make it pop. So. The purple looks good. Let's add some more purple light like, coming in right here. Just a little bit.
then maybe right over here, right just right at the edge over here. Alright, we're maybe coming in off the bottom. Coming in off the fingers actually. That'd be cool. Yo, Jerry Caesar, what's up, bro? They're already coming in with the two dollars. Oh shit, son. This guy's crazy. What? Yo, what's up, bro? How's it going? Yes, click the thumbs up button if you like this right now, please. Yo, so I did order lights, guys, because was it Denali Underground yesterday? Donated those $50. So, I took it by myself, I was like, well, I can't find canvases. And I already painted some, I already recycled some and painted them up, so I have canvases to paint for the stream. And we really need lights, bro, so I ordered, like, those photography-style lights. Um, knowing that, you know, I'm going to get that money back from his donation. So... And those lights should help a lot with the clarity on the streams. Um, you know, there won't be so much of a glare. Also, it'll help with the colors and the focus on the camera. So it should help all the way around. We'll see. I don't know. It's not like they were very, very super expensive, but you know, it's better. I'm pretty sure it's better than what we have at the moment. So, and if not, we could add it to what we're already using. Now you guys can even get better. But it definitely will help with like videos, like actually making like the videos will help a lot, so. You know what, I want some purple coming off the mic too. Ooh. Just create a happy accent right there, man. Take that little splatter and just, it was meant to be. Yeah, I'm glad, man. A lot of people, like, that's what a lot of people have been saying. And, you know, just from watching other people's videos and stuff, I could tell the people that have watched my videos or have been influ influenced by them, even if they don't, like, acknowledge it. And a lot of them are just making their own videos now. And it's starting, it's starting to become a regurgitation of my old videos. But yeah, if you're taking like video class in college and you're just doing airbrushing as a hobby, like bro, <laughs> <coughs> that camera they give you is probably just, you know, because you're able to get such good shots and then knowing how to use the camera, you know. There's so much that goes into making a good video. So much. It's so retarded. You have to have good quality video. Then you have to have good editing. Then sound. And bro, at the end of the day, it's like I just want to paint. <laughs> like I, I just want to. I just want to paint some shit. That's why I like the live streams. The live streams are easy. I just turn on the camera. I'm talking. You know, I'm painting. Uh, I don't know. I haven't posted on Instagram. I don't think so. I haven't been on it. Um, but I'll open it up and check it out. Color throwing at the canvas technique by Denny Dent. I'll have to look it up, man. That's cool. Uh, right now we're working with these uh, 155 anthems, and you see the. Can you guys hear the dogs? I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs, but they're going nuts for some reason. 
Uh, we're using these Badger 155 Anthems right now. And these these seem to run pretty good at about 40 PSI. So I, I run these at about 40, 40 PSI, 45. Like I'll put the thing like at 45 and then it drops down, you know, between 40 and 45 whenever I'm spraying, so. I think I'm going to use this purple to color in these details too on those beads. <laughs> you painted yourself like a self portrait or you mean like you painted on your body like what <laughs> yo I've had times where the paint explodes on me when I was starting out you know and that's the other thing that people don't talk about you spray at like high pressures man and you get a, a back like a backwash, you know, and it's strong enough, like this little top hole will just squirt paint everywhere, and I've had it to where it just like squirts all over my face. Oh yeah, not good. Oh wait, you know what? Let me raise this up so I can do these, uh... Oh, Steven Word, how's it going? All right, we'll see you later, man. Enjoy your haircuts.
There you go, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> See that? Just guess that spots some character. Now what color is missing? I believe we need some red. There's not enough red action. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I think we need some red. Doing good so far. Managing to stay alive. Stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> Gonna do the red on these. Yeah, that's the play. Red. Red is popping. Not too much though, you just gotta like throw it in there. You just want to paint, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really gotten crazy. And I don't know. If we're to follow other country trends, like it's just getting started here in the US. My whole state is on lockdown. I can't go nowhere. I'm like, I'm already appointments that I had for events and stuff have come and gone. Other events are canceling. Customers are asking me if they could transfer their, you know, deposit to their when they reschedule a day and stuff like that and it's just you know really I was laughing at first because I didn't think it was going to you know I didn't think it was going to affect me too much you know it was like maybe it will slow down a little bit but Nothing we can't handle, but honestly, if it keeps going like the way it's going, it's going to get rough here in a minute. But I've been there, done that. We're going to survive around here. And I don't know why I just thought red would look good on that. Dudge. I did a portrait in self high in high school. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure I did more than one. But yeah, there's a few where. So let's put some red splashing in right here.
that portrait, um, yeah, that was actually like a, an, it was like an abstract self-portrait, and that one ended up in the El Paso Art Museum. Gee, that was like, actually, yeah, that was like freshman year. All I got was a paper award for it. It said first place in some category. And they kept the painting. And there was a cool display gallery thing that we went to. And somewhere there exists a picture of me standing next to it, holding my paper in a frame. Somewhere. Oh, and that happened, I had transferred into a school, because my high school years was rough. I had transferred into a school, and uh, I didn't get to take art class, because it wasn't available, there was no spots available, but I went to the art teacher and just asked, you know, if there was any art contest kind of going on at the moment or like anything I can get involved in and yeah she told me that that one was happening if I wanted to bring in a submission by a certain date and she said I'd have to supply my own supplies but told me the dimensions I needed and everything and I went out to Hobby Lobby got what I needed dropped off my submission and then they she pulled me from class one day. It actually took her a while to figure out who I was. Because I, I guess she was in my camp, I guess, where I was just like, whatever, you know, it's just something to do. I didn't expect it to win. So then when it won, she had to, like, actually ask people who I was and figure out what class I was in and whatever. And uh, obviously I was new, so people kind of had figured out who I was. Uh, yeah. So, well, I was the only kid in the school that also got an award. Nobody in her art class got an award. <sighs> that, was, that was a fun time. I remember taking a picture with the teacher that I didn't know at the art museum, and she was super happy. And yeah, it, I thought it was hilarious. It was really cool though. Going there. See you later, Stephen Ward. <laughs> An automatic color changer, huh? Yeah. I think somebody tried that already. I forget what it was called. But it doesn't work as good as you think. The whole thing is that when you switch color, you got to flush out the previous color and... Yeah, it's not just like instant, instant change. And I remember it was so expensive if they could have like a color wheel on your airbrush. But I don't know. I don't think it worked out very well because otherwise everybody would have them by now.
Yeah, that painting, who knows where it went. Oh, well, yeah, it ended up, they ended up keeping it. I never got it back. That was part of the, the shebang, is that all those paintings became part of that museum or that collective or whatever. I don't know if this, I don't know if that was like a whole thing to like raise money for the program or something, but I'm pretty sure it had something. It wasn't just like, I don't know. <sighs> Pretty sure. So were they back there? Yeah, there were they fighting or what? Fucking cats. So the house next to our house has like an abandoned garage in the back that doesn't close all the way. And I don't know where the cats originally came from, but some cats moved in man and they they've just been multiplying and multiplying and driving our cats nuts and i don't really know how they're still alive i don't know if somebody's feeding them or what the fuck man they're really starting to become a nuisance pooping all over my yard and driving my cats crazy driving the dogs crazy too and I love cats. I never thought cats could be such pain in the butts. But when there's fucking like 20 of them running around, holy crap. You just started watching. Look, you see right there, you can see. See that brand? That's the brand. The safety was on? Yes. Everybody on the stream is going to think you're going out there with a rifle. <laughs> it is a rifle. <laughs> if I had a rifle, they'd already been dead. I'm pretty sure I've hit a couple of them twice already. They just don't give a... Yeah, they have so much fur, they don't give a fuck. Pretty sure pretty, I'm going to start aiming at them pretty soon. They're just going to turn around and just look at me like, what? It don't hurt. <laughs> so we have a BB gun that we've been hitting them with. We're trying just to scare them away. But man, they, they don't give a fuck, dude. These, these cats are crazy. Yeah, they, they really are starting to become some of the asshole cats. Like I said, I love cats, but holy fuck, I didn't know stray cats could do so much crap. Like little crap, they've just been crapping all over my yard. Yeah, 
if the backyard starts smelling like ammonia, that's it. I'm gonna start. I won't be. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that noise. And we, then we've called the, the humane department or whatever to come get them. And uh, at the time when we called, there was no, there was no department. There was, they were like, they had been shut down or something. And yeah, and now they're like, yeah, it's so retarded. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Those cats are still there. The more that I think about it, it's just like, oh man. Alright, so, anyway. Shoot some fucking cats today. Give <laughs> me some fireworks, that'll scare them. That looks pretty cool right there. It's coming together. What color else do you think it needs, babe? Do you think it needs any more colors? I don't know, I can't see it. Oh, that looks really cool. No. No? No more colors? No. Is it smoke structure wise? Is it water? Is it purple haze? I, I'm. What brand of airbrush am I using? <sighs> Man. Oh, yeah, so we just gotta do the white highlights. Yeah, you think that's good? Yeah. Just white? Cool. Don't go overboard. Don't go overboard, she says. Okay. She says every time. Oh, now I raised the painting, so you gotta raise you guys up too. There you go. See, there's not that much color coming in here, but it looks like the color's like coming off the back of them and splashing over, you know? Like, that's kind of what I was going for, yeah? Does it look good? You like colorful stuff. Denali Underground, how's it going? So, Frank, I was using the Badger. Or here, let me switch you over. The Badger. Focus, come on, focus, you can focus. Oh my gosh, the focus is just horrible on this. Focus, come on. It won't focus. Oh look, it's trying, it's trying. Is it gonna do it? There it goes. The Badger 155 Anthems to do the colors. All right, see the color on there? Then I used the Badger Velocity the Pache Talon and the Iwata Revolution to do the Jimi Hendrix. And I'm also going to use the Iwata Revolution HPCR to do the white. I'm trying to say it as slowly and comprehensively 
as possible so that I hope I answered the question. <laughs> so it was a combination of ton of airbrushes used on this. I think everybody knows by now that I hate brand loyalty or anybody that you gotta use a specific airbrush. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, so I'm only going to put white over the Jimmy. And we're going to start off with the very top, the tippity top. On, or actually, the Jimmy and the microphone and the guitar, obviously. The guitar probably not going to take so much, but the Jimmy's face and all that. <clears throat> so. I don't know why I do that, or I don't ask me why I swipe at it like it's a pencil drawing. It is freaking <laughs> like instinct at this time to paint it and then wipe at it. Like if I'm gonna wipe something away, even though I know dang well there ain't no wiping nothing. So you guys see me do that? Don't do that. Don't copy me. Don't start wiping that shit, cause. I'll definitely know if, if I see people wiping shit in their video. That guy watches my shit. Because there's no reason to do that. <laughs> see, there it is again. <laughs> I think about it, I still do it. I try to stop myself. You want to take that 4K monitor? That's fine. I that, one. that one over there. You can take that one, not this one. That one. But I want the one that I paid for. That one. <laughs> you can take this one. I could order myself a new one, a bigger one. No, I'm not that yeah, exactly. You can just take that one. I don't need to be ordering anything right now. Not a monitor for no reason. <laughs> Tabs open of YouTube.
The Iwata Eclipse is just way better than 155. I'll, I'll just say that right now. <laughs> uh, openly and up front, the, the, the Iwata Eclipse. Uh, the BCS, I assume that you're talking about. The 155s are good, don't get me wrong. For the money, like, if you have to choose between one or the other, obviously go with the 155s. But... If, if you don't care, those, I want to just, they make quality airbrushes, I can't hate. They are expensive, I think they're highly overpriced, and I think they haven't done much in terms of updates or new engineering, uh, considering the amount of money they charge. And that's my biggest gripe with them as a company. There's not a monitor outside? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the numbers are on actual airbrushes sold, but I know at one point Iwata pretty much had the, the market cornered, man. Like, you know, 9 out of 10 airbrushes, anybody you talk to, everything they used was Iwata. And uh, even though their products are good, it's really bad for, you know, all of us that just want better airbrushes and better products if there's only one company that's competing and that's why I took it upon myself to start using the badgers you know, and I really like the 155s they work really good don't get me wrong like I said but to say that they can't be improved, I'd be lying. So they could use improvements. Yeah, I, I got some ideas for airbrushes, but I don't even want to say them on stream because then, nope, nope, yeah, totally yeah, ideas. exactly, like. My wife is the only one that knows my ideas. Hey, one of them was mine. Yeah, and, and like, this is what we do. <laughs> and once we have that opportunity to actually produce and make airbrushes, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to take everything I've learned and experienced and stuff that my wife has seen that just in general, you know, from being an airbrush artist and working events with me. So... But there, there's already stuff that that can be done now that's not being done and if they did it they'd probably try to charge you an arm and a leg for it mm -hmm. uh, yeah and there's no reason to be quite honest with you and I can't even say what like that's <laughs> so these ideas are worth a lot of money and I know some of those companies watch my channel so But, like, this doesn't take much, man. They, they, they're sleeping on it. They have all the stuff to make all the airbrushes. They already have everything. And it's like, at one point, they just stop. They just stop, you know, caring. And it might take a while for me to get there. It might never happen, you know, but... I know some of the ideas in my head are probably going to happen regardless if I do it or somebody else does it. Because it's just a natural progression of things, but so far nobody's done stuff. And it's, that's kind of why I like trying out and reviewing all the airbrushes. It's like, some are a little bit better than others, but like, you're splitting hairs. So... 
it all depends on I think if if you it just depends on what you can get too because I know like badgers people message me and say like I like the badgers you're using but you know in my country the badgers are a lot more expensive than the Iwatas you know and it's just like oh well if if I had to choose between the two anyway, I would have got an Iwata, so go ahead and get yourself the Iwata. And so in a way, they still have a corner on the market, so I don't expect Iwata to actually change or do anything. And it's, it's, it's nice to see when new companies come up. Like when Master Airbrush came up and they started really, you know, pushing their products all over Amazon and stuff. and. Turns out those airbrushes are not bad, and they're made in the same. They're made in the same factory as these right here, like the main components, right? So do some research, and you find out a lot of them are actually made in the same. Because the the way that these are manufactured, they have to use the machines. There's only like certain factories that have them, so they have to go through those factories, and yeah. Two ham on the teeth. That's a little better. Talk to Ken at Badger. Bro. Ken, when I messaged him about the anthems, was very, very helpful. And he did give me a deal on them. I think it was a deal. I don't know because in retrospect, looking back, they were... They were not that much cheaper than retail, and I still had to buy the hoses. So, I mean, I think he tried. He tried to get me a deal. But Ken is just a sales guy from what I understand. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what talking to Ken would do. Like I said, just spitting out ideas to the wrong person, just, you know, yeah, the idea might come to life, but then I won't see anything from it. So, boy, trying to get paid, man, trying to get paid, you know? I don't know, these are things that seem obvious to me. I don't know. So. I I can sit back down. Oh, wait, no, 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 I can't. I gotta do the microphone. I even put the camera on the microphone, then didn't do it. 
What's up, James Melton? How's it going? Yeah, and they have a whole bunch of... If you go on that Badger group, man, on Facebook, there's so many guys pushing the Badger brand now. Like, so many. I mean, this is good. That's kind of what I, what I intended when I started using them, you know, and I was like, hopefully it helps. Because I didn't see many people using them back then. But now their Facebook group is blown up, and there's tons of people pushing them now, and people using them everywhere, so... I know everybody in that group seems to love the Sotar 2020. But I'm just going up the price stack, man, of all the airbrushes. I just send sort by price, and the ones I don't have, I'm just going to start going up. You know, eventually work our way towards those $300 airbrushes. And I don't know how we're going to figure out the, the money for that, but... Hopefully by then the channel will be producing enough money we could order one of those once every other month or something, I don't know. And eventually we can start raffling them off too. So I'd love to work with the companies if they wanted me to look at their products and then send an extra one to raffle off or something, you know, just a promotion, something like that. You see it all the time with other products, other stuff. But nobody from no company has ever hit me up except from Segola. It's the only company that's ever reached out to me. Createx dropped a comment on a video before. But I've never gotten an email from any other company or a call or anything except Segola. But they just it's a Spanish company. They're based out of Spain. Man, communicating was kind of hard. And even though they make good airbrushes, they're quality airbrushes. You know, it's for me to recommend them. It's hard because I'm in the U.S. Most of you guys that watch are here in the U.S. And yeah, if you guys can't find parts and stuff, you guys are gonna start come hollering at me. You know, and yeah. I don't want to give, tell everybody about a bunch of uh, paperweights because that's what they might become. I, I have my Segola X-Tech 100 right here, which is like their fine detail airbrush and it's just dusty from sitting here. But I try not to use it all that much because, again, it's just nice and I don't want to break it and, or get it, you know, to the point where it needs repair or something and then I can't repair it. for certain stuff that airbrush is really nice like really miniature stuff I did a stream I don't know if you guys remember where I was doing the the paintings the skulls that were the size of a dime with that airbrush so yeah but you know eventually if we get enough members I just need to find out how to like work out the math on how how we could accomplish that Yeah, no, no company's ever hit me up for nothing. Not sponsorship, not like, hey, you want to feature our product? Not nothing like that ever, dude. So <laughs> everything is coming out of my pocket right now. And I wish YouTube made money. Like I wish, you know. <sighs> but it it just doesn't make that much money. I just do it kind of, it's fun, and hopefully, you know, you still keep your hopes up. Especially right now, man, the fucking revenue is going so far down. It's crazy. I don't understand how that works either because all my views are going up, all my watch time is going up, the amount of subscribers I'm getting out every month is going up, but then the ad revenue is just going down. I don't know if companies are just not putting as many ads right now or what, but it's kind of sad.
This is the craziest thing I've ever personally lived through, though. Like, when it comes to government-wise, I guess, is having... Like, I've never lived through them locking down the whole fucking state. It's crazy. You know how many people are just sitting at home right now not doing jack? Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to go nuts. All I want to do is stroll Walmart, like, and not feel like I can't touch everything. Like, just like a normal Walmart trip. I just want to go. I want to feel like I can go to Best Buy and be cool. Something, man. This is getting rough. Honestly, I'm just glad... You guys watch and I have somebody to talk to like you guys in the chat, so it's like fuck yeah. Thanks, easy airbrush. Thank you, sir. Looking pretty good, huh? Let's get in there. I'm starting to ramble now. I could you know, Yeah. That's how long I've been caged up. I'm just starting to ramble. I need to just shut up. Before I say something, I probably already said something I shouldn't have said. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna shut up, man. Like this is dumb. I'm just talking, and I realized I haven't even been looking at the chat, so I looked over and I was like, "Oh yeah." You should measure the closet and try to find one that fits like that. We could just stand up in there. Just got back from bicycle ride. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, man. so I I man I forget I keep always forget which one is the Australian guy I think that's Stephen Ward yeah, yeah. oh my god I'm gonna start remembering people's names because of YouTube that's a hell of a reason all of a sudden to start remembering people's names I've been terrible with names for like the past 10 years. I can't remember people's names for nothing. People be introducing themselves to me all the time and I never could remember their names. I always be trying to scratch. That guy that had that glasses or that woman that was wearing the dress. <laughs> but I never remember their names. I just say it like that. Even people that come and get tattooed too, I have to, they tell me their names, but fuck if I know what their names are after they leave.
Nothing there. <laughs> and the way my brain works, Oh no, what? So you're technically still looking for two. That's pretty much it right there. Let's take a look. Let's see what it looks like. There you guys go. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Doesn't look so silly now with just the pink. Looks good with all the colors splashing through. I like it. I'm digging it. Just taking a look at it, see if there's anything I want to kind of touch. But no, I think it looks good. I like it just the way it is. Hmm. What do you guys think? You guys like that? Does that look pretty good? Ooh, did my thing freeze here or something? No, I think it's good. I just think none of you are saying nothing. So if none of y'all are going to say nothing, I think that's it for today. Um, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm just admiring it myself, just looking at it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably go live tomorrow on one of those canvases I prepped up and think of a design. Maybe I'll put up a poll like I did for this one and we'll, we'll figure some ideas out. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Jerry Caesar, the man for the donation, Denali Underground for showing up and being in the chat, Eric Todd showing through, Bobby Lipford came through, James Melton came through, Stephen Ward was here at one point, Frank Adartse, Easy Airbrush, uh, who else did I miss here, I don't think, I think that's everybody that was there, Er, 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 that person was here too, so anyway guys, uh, thank you guys all for watching, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys click that like button, share it out if you feel so inclined. Um, yeah, and make sure you check out, maybe join the Skull Squad. See, see that skull up there? Become a member of the Skull Squad. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, man.